Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnath. In this module, we'll get started with object-oriented programming. We will see what is a class and we'll also see what is an object and let's get started. Okay, so to understand class and objects, I just open Eclipse IDE and I'll create a new project. File, new, project. I'll create a Java project. So I click on this Java, Java project, click on next, which I've been doing from the beginning of the course. So I'll just write here project 101 or some name you can give it and click on next. And I don't want to create module info, click on finish. Now open the perspect of the Java project because uh, I just open Eclipse IDE and now I just created the project. Now what we have to do is the first thing that we always use to do is we create a package. So right click on this SRC and new package. Just right here, I'll just write my package. Click finish. Now, I, I used to create a class called my class or something. Let's create that. Right click on this new class. And I used to create my class and public static wide main. Click on finish. Now, now, let me increase the font size, Control shift plus. Now, the previous definition of class that we have learned is a class. So we have learned uh, three definitions of uh, one is package. One is a class. And what we learned, a package is group of classes. A class is group of methods. Now what we will do here is I just creating, I'm just creating a class and I added main method. Now, when I want to write, when I want to declare a simple variable, so I can write int a is equal to five. Now, when I want to deal with, let's take I want to deal with employee. So in real world projects, what we do is, so let me open MS Paint and let's try to explain. All of us are doing a project for, let's assume all of us are working for Amazon. Now, when you're working for Amazon, so you might deal, you might need to deal with different entities. So that means you might need to deal with vendors. You might deal with customers you might deal with employees or you might need to deal with products. So we have to deal with different types of entities. So what we do is for each entity, we create separate class. So for vendors, we create class customers. We create a separate class. So everything related to customers like add customer, edit customer, delete customer, or anything that you deal with customers, you put inside customers class. Now, as a, now as a customer, when you create, when you create account in Amazon, you'll be creating an account. You can create account. You can edit your account. You can add addresses, multiple addresses in it and you can edit the addresses, you can delete the addresses. So all the functionality related to, uh, related to customers, we put inside the class customers. So why we have to put it? So that way you will have a standard way or standard interface to deal with so that you don't have to check in all other places where you have methods to deal with customers. So group all the functionality and data related to customers into a customer class and group all the methods related to employee into an employee class. And so what we do here, if you consider Amazon as a package, inside that we create multiple classes and the functionality related to each class we put inside this. Now let's see, now let's take for example, now here, and for understanding purpose, what I'll do is, I will take an example of, let me open MS Paint. And I'll take an example of, let's assume you want to construct a, you want to construct a house or a hotel. You want to construct a hotel. So first thing what you'll do, you'll go to a, you'll go to a civil engineer. And what civil engineer will do, he will create a design or blueprint. Now let's assume that this is the small design. Now I'm just taking small example here and let's assume that this is your design. Now this is a building or let's assume just for illustration purpose. 
and this is a simple door here and let's assume that this is a door now this is on paper now now this is a design that's given to you by your civil engineer now using this design using this design you can create a small tie house or you can create a small prototype or you can actually create a new big very big hotel or you can create a well uh, in a proportionate way you can create different hotels right so when it is in paper it's it doesn't occupy any space it is not a real world real world house it's it's just a design now when you create it whether you create a small tie house or a prototype or a real building so it started occupying memory so similarly now what we will do is let's go to the eclipse ide and what i'll do now is i will create so this is my package i already have a class my class now i can create a class like this so i'm creating a class so i'll just put public class don't worry about public for now what is my class name hotel now now in this class, you need to have number of rooms, height, width and all. So that is the data. So what I'll write here, public, int, height, public, int, width. Now, now in real world projects, we create a class and we have the variables and the functionality. So, so what you do now, so you will write read height and print height let's let's put here public void read data and now here what I have to read now so I'll write here and now I'll be writing here let's take um, scanner I need to create object of scanner scanner obj is equal to new scanner system dot in now I'll get an error because I need to import the package so I move the mouse on this and I'll take this util and now I'll write here SYSO enter enter height and I have to store this height in control space is equal to obj dot next int now again SYSO enter width now let's not worry about all other rooms and all now width is equal to SYSO width is equal to SYSO control space why it's not coming up sorry obj dot next int okay done now what I'm doing here is I have a class hotel and which is having height and width now I need to read the data because depending on my prototype that I have to create so for, for every instance let's assume whatever I typed here so this is not a fixed height this is not a fixed height or fixed width so depending on the client requirement or uh, I can create a prototype so I need to read the data from the user and then I need to let's take I want to print it now what I can do here I'll write here public void print data SYSO height colon plus height and SYSO width colon plus width okay now now here I am printing this height and width and now now I'm done with the class so there is a red line indicating probably because I'm I'm uh, let's see move the mouse on this the public type hotel must be defined in its own file okay now let me let's not put the public here because in Java in Java the file name which we have here my class whatever file name you have only that should have a public class so rest all classes should be normal classes so let me delete this don't worry about this for now just create a class hotel and here we have two variables and we have two methods read data and print data done now again obj we have orange line indicating that we have to close that so I'll just put it here obj dot close done now what we have done here is we created a simple class 
and we have two variables and the reading data I have written some function and print data I have written some function now when I have a class it is just a design it's not in memory it's not in memory so whenever you have a class in your paper it doesn't occupy any space now let's create a small uh, prototype of this now what I'll do here I need to create an object so now in my main method what I'll do here is I will write here hotel hotel one is equal to new hotel now I'm specifying I need to read so whoever is constructing this hotel the hotel one whoever is going to construct this hotel I need to ask user what is the height and width so here someone else might create here someone else might create here someone else might create the hotel of this proportionately so here I'm asking hotel one dot read data and hotel one dot print data now if I run the code now let's run the code now you'll see enter the height I'm saying height let's take uh, 10 meters or width let's take uh, 15 meters enter now you can see I entered height 10 I entered width 15 so when I create an object like this hotel hotel 1 is equal to new hotel so when I create an object like this, this is called an object when I create an object like this it is occupying the memory so when I create a class it's not occupying any memory only when I create an object it is creating a new instance and here in my computer memory it will create a class which is holding two variables one is height and width and then it's creating an object so that's the difference between a class and object so a class is now let's try to understand the definitions now let me open notepad the first definition of a class which we learned is group of methods now the second definition of class which we saw is it's not only group of methods group of variables and methods now the third definition which all of you should know is class is like a design or blueprint to create objects so these are the definitions everyone should know a class is group of methods a class is like group of variables and methods and a class is like a design or blueprint to create objects now coming to object an object an object is instance of a class and we can create we can create any number of objects so so if I explain in MS Paint here so this is a design and here whatever you create this is an object this is an object now there's a big one that's an object now objects occupy memory now when you create objects occupy memory so this are the definitions that you have to know so a class is group of methods a class is group of variables and methods a class is like a design or blueprint to create objects and an object is an instance of a class we can create any number of objects for a class objects occupy memory so now now what we did here we created a class for hotel and we have declared the variables and we're reading the data so in our case we are just storing the data in variables but in real world project you store the data in inside files in database now here we are reading it using scanner but in real world projects how do you read it so in real world projects you will have an application like this you'll have an application like this where you'll be entering the data enter height and enter width and you'll have all of the details enter number of rooms like this you'll have all of the data all of the data will be there so there'll be a text box here now let me put it there'll be a text box there'll be a text box there'll be a text box and there'll be a button here and here you'll have something called save and you'll enter all this data once you click on save it'll be saved in database so here we are not written any logic to save in database we have just storing in the variable and we are just printing printing it so it's not storing anywhere this simple example but in real world projects you write here save data in database so the methods variables will be so many not just two so so for now what you need to understand is what is a class a class is group of variables and 
also it'll have methods. So in our class that I created, we have two variables and we have two methods. And how many objects you can create for a class? You can create any number of objects. Here we created only one object, hotel. Hotel one is equal to new hotel. So, so that is all you need to understand for now. So the three definitions of a class is a class is group of methods. A class is group of variables and methods. A class is like a design or blueprint to create objects. Now, what is an object? So this is an object. Now this, when I write like this, it'll occupy the memory and hotel1.read data. I am storing hotel1.height, hotel1.width using read data and print data will just print it. Okay, so I hope you're clear with how to create a simple class and what are the three definitions of a class and what is an object and how do we compare a class and object. In the next module, we will learn more about classes and objects. See you in the next module.